Hello and welcome to another Rank Ranger tutorial. Today we will be discussing how to fully utilize the Track Dashboard on the Rank Ranger platform. Once you log into your account, navigate to the Track tab and the first report that appears is the Dashboard. Let's begin by loading the Rank Ranger default settings. In the top right corner, click the gold settings button and select default report settings. To set the date you would like to see the report for, either select it on the calendar menu, or if you plan to change other options, then open the report options in the sidebar and select date. You are able to view data for any date since you began the campaign. Remember that if you deleted a keyword, that data will no longer be available and current keyword data is only available from when you add them. Under general settings, you can add a custom report title to display on the screen and on PDF reports. Select whether you would like to see the report grouped by domains, also known as competitive view, or by keywords, also known as single domain view. Show or hide brand impact, which can be configured in your campaign settings. This shows which domains have negative or positive influence on your brand. You can also show or hide the landing page. This shows you which landing page is appearing in the SERPs for that keyword. Choose how you would like the data to be sorted. It can be sorted according to any metric in ascending or descending order. This can be done in report options or by clicking the arrow beside the heading of each column on the report. Choose to show or hide algorithm changes, which alert you if an algorithm change has been made by Google during the date period that you were looking at. This can sometimes be explained drastic rank changes. Choose which keywords you would like displayed on the report or display all. Similarly, you can choose specific keyword tags to display. Remember that if you choose not to display one tag, any keywords attached to that tag will not be shown on the report. Under Domains, you can choose to highlight the primary domain of the campaign to make it easily recognizable. Also, show or hide domain tags, which can be added in campaign settings. Choose which domains to show in the report. This can be useful when trying to compare some, but not all of the domains. Choose the search engines to display and drag to change the order you'd like them displayed on your report. Under Rank Change, you can filter your results based on type of change. For example, if you're only interested in viewing data for keywords that improved or held their rank position, you should select Show Positive and No Rank Changes here. According to the Rank Change filter that you have added, you can choose to base it on daily, weekly, or monthly change. For example, if you choose to only show positive changes daily, then you will only be shown rankings for keywords that have had a positive change since yesterday. Decide which rank change columns to display in your report. The baseline column shows the first rank that was recorded in Rank Ranger for that keyword. The overall change compares the report date's rank to the baseline rank. Under Keyword Metrics, you are able to show Google AdWords, including average monthly volume, cost per click, and pay-per-click competition, as well as Keyword Efficiency Index. The next option is Domain Metrics, which includes your page rank and backlink data from Majestic SEO, Ahrefs and Moz. These metrics all relate to your domain, giving you an overall idea of how your domain is doing. The landing page metrics relate specifically to the landing page that is appearing in the SERPs for that keyword. Here, you are able to show or hide social metrics from Google+, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, StumbleUpon, Reddit and Delicious. You can also choose to show landing page backlinks data from Majestic SEO and Moz. Make sure to click Apply Changes once you have selected all the settings that you would like. You can then choose to save these settings as Account, Profile, Campaign 
or white label portal defaults. Once you have your settings done, you can view your data. Select to view the graph for a specific keyword and see the ranking and visibility over a period of time. If you selected to show algorithm changes in report options, general settings, you'll see the Google algorithm updates in the graph to explain possible declines or rises in rank. You are able to add in your own events and notes to display in this graph for use in explaining rank changes. To do this, simply click the home button and select events and notes and add note. With one click, you can add this report to one of your automated PDF reports or export in a variety of formats. For additional resources, please visit our Help Center. Good luck and enjoy. Ranger out.